Here is a right triangle. This right angle side is 3. This angle, 45 degrees, and this piece measures 5. How long is the hypotenuse? For solving for the length of the hypotenuse, we only have to solve for the two right angle sides. This is 3. This, we don't know. But if we can solve for this small piece, 5 plus the length of this piece is the length of the right angle side. So now, our job is to calculate or to evaluate the length of this piece. Okay, hard. We have another condition. 45 degrees is this angle. Oh my god, so what shall we do? Usually, if we see 45 degrees, Hmm. We should consider constructing an isosceles right triangle. But how? Not hard. Now, we can construct the perpendicular to this line segment from this point. And the perpendicular will intersect the hypotenuse. This green line is the perpendicular to this line segment, of course, here is 90 degrees, a right angle. Then what shall we do? Here is a right triangle, and this angle is 45 degrees. Of course, this angle, we can also evaluate it. It is also 45 degrees. Okay, now we get a triangle with the angles 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. It is a right triangle, however, these two angles have the same value. It is a right triangle as well as an isosceles triangle, so that means this triangle is an isosceles right triangle. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and these two line segments are equal. They have the same length. Obviously, we have to construct the perpendicular to this right angle side from this point. This is a right triangle, since here is a right angle. So now, we get two right triangles. Hmm, they look alike, don't they? Of course, the truth is, not only do they look alike, but are congruent to each other as well. They're congruent to each other. Why? Right angle, right angle, and the hypotenuses have the same length. And this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because this purple angle plus this pink angle is 90 degrees. And this purple angle plus this pink angle is also 90 degrees. So that means these two angles are equal. In the same way, these two purple angles are also equal. So according to AAS, angle, angle, side, we got two congruent triangles. I've said, if we can solve for the length of this piece, our hypotenuse can be easily solved. So now we can suppose it measures x. Of course, since these two triangles are congruent to each other, so here is also x. Now, we have to evaluate x. Now, how can we get an equation? Of course, we have similarity. Right angle, right angle. So this small right triangle is similar to the big right triangle. x over 3 equals this piece over 5 plus x. And now I have to find out the length of this piece. We know that these two triangles are congruent to each other. So here measures 3. This side should also be 3. So here is 5 minus 3. 2. Of course, then it is 2 over 5 plus x. Cross multiplying and we can solve for the value of x. x times 5 plus x is 6. The next step, x squared plus 5x is 6. And the next step, x squared plus 5x minus 6 is 0. 
So now you can see here is minus 6, here is plus 5. Factorization. It is, of course, x minus 6 can be written as negative 1 times 6, and negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5. So it is x minus 1 times x plus 6. So now we get two values for x. So we can get two values for x. x1 is 1, x2 is negative 6. However, a length can never be negative, so x2 is equal to negative 6, no way. 1 is the correct answer. So x is 1. This piece measures 1. Okay, that means the long right angle side is 5 plus 1 is 6, and the short right angle side is 3. By the Pythagorean theorem, question mark is square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. 6 squared is 36. 36 plus 9. It is 45. Square root of 45, it can be simplified further. And the answer is 45 is 9 times 5. So it is 3 times square root of 5. This is the answer. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up for this wonderful method. Subscribe to me for more interesting questions and videos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.